comic book savant, the man behind the mic. <laughs> Welcome back to the Comic Book Savant Podcast. I'm your host, James Harris, and this is going to be an episode of The Man Behind the Mic for June of uh, 2021. It's been a while, or it feels like it's been a while since I've done one of these these episodes. Uh, again, uh, I started this series just to have an open dialogue <clears throat> with you guys as a community and the audience to kind of let you know the stuff that happens behind the scenes and, you know, keep giving you guys update with uh, me personally in relation to when it comes to the show and certain, you know, stuff personally as well. Um, you guys have really taken to the series and encouraged me to do the series. Um, you know, as a creator, certain times you only think that your audience only wants one specific thing from you. And it's been amazing, the outpouring of support and uh, the things I never thought you wanted from me that you then requested from me, that it was kind of funny. The light bulb never went off in my head to, you know, do something like this until you guys proposed it to me. Um, and it's it's meant a, you know, a lot. But with all that being said, just to give you guys some updates of what's been going on with um, the podcast and everything else and me personally. And since the last time I did one of these uh, updates um, is definitely, uh, you know, was I took some time off. I got back on, you know, uh, immediately just started creating as much content as possible, had some laps, you know, in there before before this last kind of run, I kind of got uh, burnt out a little bit just because I was doing, uh, so much content. Um, it might've didn't, it might've not been as much as a gap as it felt like in my mind, because I was so far ahead. And, you know, that's definitely something that I always try to do. I've learned from the past and especially when my health was not in the best shape. And, you know, I've, you know, talk to you guys about all that kind of stuff. And it were physically, I couldn't record for gaps of time. And then it left you guys without uh, content. Um, so I've worked coming out of all of that, you know, that, that I'm in a healthier place by constantly staying uh, ahead of the game. So you never get too large uh, gaps of content coming from me week in, week out, you know, day to day. Uh, when it comes to the podcast um, and, you know, I've kind of built a good workflow that kind of ensures that I, I keep content um, flowing regularly. So I thought it might be harder coming, you know, getting back into flow recording because it had been, you know, a little bit, but it's, it's truthfully, um, you know, is kind of, you know, funny because I've been thinking about it a lot that, um, you know, we're coming up uh, in August on 15 full years now of the podcast and going into the 16th year. And um, I never really thought that it would have I would would have made it this far. Um, you know, I always joke that I, I never really thought I was going to make it to, a you know, episode one from my tragic episode zero that I did. Um and to have done, you know, I don't, I don't even know. I, I, I lost count of the, you know, amount of episodes. I think it's what it's over 500 now, um, episodes later, um, that I would still be here still, you know, uh, you know, doing it. Um, yeah, it's kind of, it's definitely, uh, awe inspiring when you look back at it. Um, so I just really been focused on, being a, a consistent content creator um, and just like finding my niche. You know, I, I think I've, I've over the past few years, I've really found, I think I, for a long time, I was searching for what was the right niche for me, not, you know, and separating myself from the content that I create from everyone else, that it wasn't so samey. And I think through, um, the collaboration of not just, you know, myself, but other people around me, um, you as an audience in a community, uh, speaking with me, reaching out to me, 
my wife as a, a main behind the scenes collaborator that I can bounce things off of my spinner rack bro Heath that I can bounce things off of um, I really found a medium that made me happiest in creating content that I felt like that I enjoyed and that you guys enjoyed as well um, yeah so it, it's definitely that's a lot of where my focus has been is just keeping a, keeping staying more on content creation for right now I know things have to expand out and there's a lot more I want to do because you know one of the biggest challenges uh, you know we've had in the past year we all have is that the pandemic kind of shook up a whole bunch of different things in our our lives and how we you know went about stuff and you know I worked on the previous year ramping up for um, you know, comic book savant 2.0. And I talked about it for the longest time, but, you know, different plans I had for the Patreon and, you know, and trying to, you know, elevate the show even more and try to get, uh, gather more support through Patreon and through merchandise and all that kind of stuff. It kind of fell flat for a whole year of planning beforehand. And then right when I was starting to unroll it, a pandemic hit and, and, you know, you guys, you know, reached out and wanted to support, but your lives changed. My life changed. A lot of things got shaken up for a lot of people. So, um, it's definitely figuring out now a new road roadmap for this platform that I created, um, and seeing what works best for me and us as a community going forward to, to elevate it and do those same things I want to do, but in a proper way, because, a lot of things have changed for a lot of people. Um, so you have to adjust accordingly. So I'll figure that side out later. Right now, I'm just having a bunch of fun making as much as much varied content for you guys as possible. And that's kind of been my zone, my jam. That's kind of my my um, my sweet spot. My home place is just creating content when I go too long without doing the podcast. Yeah, I always feel like something's missing after doing it, um, you know, for the majority of the, you know, p past 15 years of my life. It's it's like it's something I have to do. I haven't lost that fire or desire to to do it at all. You know, and I wondered about that at times. Would I ever get tired? And I haven't. The industry as a whole has evolved so much from when I started doing this to where I am now. Um, it's ever evolving, ever changing, and it always gives me fresh ideas, um, and things to pull from, to create content from you guys. Uh, so I'm thankful for that because it could have died off so long ago. Um, another thing I've been focused, focusing on in this time is, is creating a better and maintaining a better work life balance. And you guys have talked to me a lot about that, you know, at times where, um, when you get in, in a routine and I'm very, um, kind of routine workflow oriented, um, you know, so certain times if I'm not doing something to a level in which I want, um, you know, I know I, I've learned, I need to step back and you guys have been so great as a community of telling me, you know, if I post something in the Facebook group or what have you, Hey, take all the time you need, get yourself together. Um, and it's funny the the person, the person that has the hardest time accepting that is me. You guys have always been, if you need time, we'll be here when you come back and you always have, it's just me mentally allowing myself that that break but i've done a better job during the pandemic and and you know coming out of all the health issues that i've had kind of building up a better workflow flow and how i organize things to um where i'm not ever too strained too much um because i love what i do um but i can um i could be somewhat obsessive compulsive and I, i've recognized that so um I, you know, I've maintained that way, uh, way better. And, um, uh, just again, keeping everything moving forward and, um, not overdoing it. Cause sometimes you can get so deep in it that you just will run your own self into the ground. Not that anyone else is so demanding of you. It's just the, I guess the strive or the drive I've always had that I, sometimes I don't know when to say when, so I'm learning that better. Um, I'm going to try um, one of the biggest challenges I've had with creating content 
lately is uh, the challenge of keeping up with all the movies and TV shows that have that have been coming out and that will continue to come out in the near future. You know, so many things got delayed because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And now, like it is this, you know, we had a drought for a while where it wasn't a ton of new content. We we've had, um, you know, so far from the end of the very what well, I guess the very end of last year the beginning of this year it's a blur now no end of last year we've had WandaVision um, we've had finally got Falcon and the Winter Soldier Loki's on the horizon probably by the time you listen to this um, Loki will, the first few episodes of Loki will have, will have dropped Black Widow's on the horizon um, yeah it's a bunch of stuff that's you know that's coming hot and heavy um so I'm trying my best to cover. We've had other stuff like Invincible. Um, I still haven't done The Boys yet. Um, seasons one or two, though I've done one, but I haven't recorded it yet still. Um, yeah, and there's even more stuff out there. So It's so much stuff. So I'm trying to work through it while still balancing the actual physical comic book side because I still do read comics. Uh, so I'm trying again to maintain a good balance there. Um, but it is overwhelming cause it's so many, uh, shows like they just like, before you know it that, um, I'm like, boom, another one, another one. So before I can, it's at a point now, before I get finished recording episodes of reviews of one, the next one is already on top of me. So, um, you probably will get a, um, a steady flow of Falcon and the winter soldier, uh, episode reviews they've already started coming out more will be coming out they'll be more consistent because at this point now i just can't space them out because <laughs> loki's already going to be coming i'm going to be covering that um i'm still debating about um you like um how i'm going to cover the bad batch because that's out and i do cover you know star wars stuff as well um, so I'm, I'm debating about that. So I'll might be playing around with it. Certain stuff might, will have weekly episode breakdowns, but since it's so many shows, I'm kind of going to have to kind of pick and choose. Some might only be at the end of the season. I'll just do, um, what's actually season, a season review. Um, and I'll kind of pick and choose on just how things flow. Um, you guys asked for and voted on me doing the, um, the live action Marvel shows weekly episode breakdowns. And I think uh, originally we talked about the live action Star Wars shows. So um, yeah, so those are what I will probably keep consistently doing weekly episode breakdowns on the other stuff might just have to be seasonal just because it takes a longer time to do those weekly episode breakdowns. And then like far as it clogging up the, the schedule or depending on how things are going forward, it might be a third day a week that you might get episodes just to kind of compensate for everything that's coming out, at least temporarily. But that's a work in progress. I'm still trying to wrap my head around all that. If you guys have any specific suggestions on, on um, how you want what show covered, you can always, you know, email me, it's a uh, comic book savant at gmail.com with any suggestions. I'm open to it again. I just want to kind of give you the content that you guys want to listen, you know, listen to. I watch all the stuff. Uh, so just how I cover it is just what time will allow with everything else on to cover it effectively. So if you have a suggestion or a format that you like better than another for a particular show, please let me know so I can aim to kind of accommodate accommodate that um because it could make things easier for me so um definitely um the only other thing i could say um that i'm really preparing for is ramping up for the um 15th anniversary of the show and laying out whatever year 16 might look look like and you know i always try to tend to have a a, a loose game plan on what i want to do for the next year so you know i definitely have to examine because i've been again less focused on that kind of stuff and more focused right now on just content 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 because it's just so much you know comic so many comics coming out so many shows coming out so um i'm kind of you know uh knee deep in it right now so um, but that's kind of the only other thing that, that I've been working on. So 
that's all I really have for you guys. Uh, hopefully, you know, you enjoyed the update. Uh, I, I'll try, I, like I said, I will try to do these somewhat monthly or just as I feel like um, I need to update you guys on kind of what's going on. So I, 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 I think my intention w was to originally do these monthly, but certain times too, it's kind of hard to break away from everything else to do these. So the, I'll try to keep it monthly or at least every other month kind of updates to kind of let you go. You guys know what is going on behind the scenes. So um, as always, I hope you all are staying safe and taking care of yourselves. And until next time, you guys take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.